like we never left BDA and Boku no Hero. I mean, Bakugo really needs to get over himself because at this point, he he's acting like a child. I, I think he's like 14 or 15, something like that, but he's full of himself. He is full of himself and he can't realize that Deku or Ka not Kachan, Deku or Izuku, he, he, he wants a chance to compete. He wants to compete with him after looking up to him for so long. But he can't accept that. He's not ready to accept that. And they show, they keep showing flashbacks of Bakugo and his interactions with um, Deku and how he was molded from, he, since he was a child, everyone was building him up to think that he was better than everyone else. So at this point, Bakugo, he feels like no one should come near him. He has the complex of do Flamingo, if you watch One Piece, he has that complex where he doesn't want anyone above him. Even when Deku jumped in the river to help him when he fell, he had an issue with that because he felt that, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm the strongest, like you shouldn't have to worry about me. I am fine. And you know, it, it's hard because he's still young, but you can see this is going somewhere. The fact that he had he has such a problem with this, how is he going to be governed by the Heroes Association and all that stuff? Because even when All Might told him, yo, you do, I don't want to use that again, you can tell he was mad at that. And I wonder how much longer they will be able to control him because I, I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to do that. It was a great episode. I, I really enjoyed this episode. It was m focused mostly on Bakugo and Deku and, and their fight and at the beginning when you saw the well, last episode we saw Deku slammed him and I was like oh well maybe he has a chance but then when he used that big exploding move I was like alright then alright it should, should just hit the fan because <laughs> Deku didn't know what to do with that and even everyone was kind of surprised by that and even Bakugo was kind of surprised because he didn't know how much they had amplified his suit so when he used it, it, it the destruction was crazy but Deku what I really like about him is the fact that he 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 finds a way through through anything, right? And he thinks he thinks he's not like the typical shonen character who depends on just 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 power and emotion. He thinks through things, and Bakugo is typically how the shonen characters are. The main shonen characters where they're just off emotion, rage, or just. They, they, they did no thinking, but they did show, they did show that Bakugo did some thinking when he, he used his smoke thing and he, a smoke screen, and he got behind Bakugo, that's when he attacked him, uh, not behind Bakugo, he got behind Deku, and that's when he attacked him, and then that's when it kind of changed the fight a bit, and that's when Deku kind of realized, alright, maybe I can't beat this guy, but then he found a way to pull through, I thought what he did with, um, oh shit, I forgot her name, Ira, Ira Kara, Ira Hak I forgot her name, but the chick, right? E something. But what he did with her, that was ingenious because he realized what her quirk was, remembered what it was, and used it to its full advantage. And he even took into consideration Ida and his techniques and his speed. He's like, how can we neutralize his speed? And he... he He's a genius. He's a genius. And I think All Might, that's why he didn't stop the fight. He wanted to give Deku a chance to get out of his bind because that is what that's what heroes are essentially supposed to do. And Deku did it. Deku did it. And the more I see Ida, the more I view him as Ishida from Bleach. I get that feeling about him where he just doesn't want to disappoint his parents. He just wants to do everything right by the book. That's the feeling I get from him. But He's interesting. I like the guy. I like the guy a lot. He's hilarious too. Like when he was doing the villain impersonation, that was priceless. That, that was absolutely priceless because <laughs> he's doing the walk and then um, Yurahaka, whatever her name is, she was just there watching him doing it <laughs> and she was just, she was laughing at him because he's like, okay, he's he's taking this way too seriously and then he got really good at being it, being a villain. I love Ida, man. I, I think he's dope. But it, I think Bakugo, he's someone we have to watch. We really have to watch Bakugo and kind of try to figure out exactly what his path is going to be. So, because it's, it's, it's interesting that he he's just so emotional and he's just so obsessed with himself. Like, it's, it's how do you control that? How do you control that? You know, how it ended, Deku for the win. Uh, this show, it's it was great. Like, it was done better than the manga. I think how they executed it, I mean, for some moments, I felt like 
they were focusing too much on the flashbacks. They went back too many times. It's like, if you're going to give us a flashback, give us a damn flashback. Don't just go back, keep going back. For this, give us a damn flashback, all right? But for the most part, good stuff. Let me know what you thought about this episode. I thought it was really good. I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this episode. Can't wait for next week. But as always, like the video, if you did subscribe to the channel, if you have not, that would be dope. Have a good day, people.